Hi, it's Tanya and I'm here to talk yarn. Today I'm here to talk about littleknits.com. I'm not affiliated with them. I am just someone who's a bargain shopper and likes to spend my money wisely on something that I love to spend my money on and that's yarn. Love my yarn, love littleknits.com too. Now, um, I highly recommend you join their newsletter because then you'll get their deals in the mail, email. And personally, I've gotten some great deals on this by just paying attention to those. I've had Malbrigo, um, Malbrigo Rios I found there. Like they had it on sale for like eight or nine dollars once. Then I was able to snatch some unique colors up there. They have, um, this time I was able to find these usually $20 each for like eight and change. They really have fantastic deals sometimes. You just have to keep an eye and watch and whenever something comes up that you know you like, snatch it up. And so I'm gonna talk about my latest purchase, some amazing things, some not so amazing, but I think that it's good to, to sort of hear and know at least that someone else is dealing with the same things you are. I get that it's hard to buy online. And um, I'm gonna tell you about my good and bad from this order. So let's dig into the yarn and let me show you. Now I showed you this one. This is Juniper Farm, Juniper Moon Farms Nimbus. This is the cumulus up there that I have right behind my head. That is the four weight version and this is the five weight version. It is nice and bulky and shiny and soft. Just, it feels like silk. It's not silk. It is 96% um, Mako cotton um, and 4% nylon. It's five bulky, 100 grams for 164 yards, made in Italy and just stunning. I love this yarn. I love the cumulus and I love this. And you can see the shine on it. It, it really, it feels like it has silk in it. It's soft, it's cozy, it's squishy. To me, just the perfect yarn. I really love this yarn. Um, it is a pleasure to work with. It's very silky, just slides on your needles and um, is an enjoyable experience to me. This color here is navy. I also purchased a few in sky. Look at that baby blue. Oh, it's so soft and so be so beautiful. Um, when you buy it, you're just gonna wanna put it up against your face. Just make a pillow out of it or something. Now, those are beautiful. I also bought black. I don't buy black very often anymore because I've just learned I can't see the stitches. I'm miserable when I use black. But in fact, I don't have any completed, per completed projects made in black. It's just too much. But can you see the shine on this? And it is beautiful bulky. I'm hoping that I can use this successfully. I hope so because I wear black all the time. Black is my color, but meh, it's so hard to make things in black. Wish me luck. I hope it goes well. But here's my favorite purchase. It's so much so I opened this last night and I couldn't stop myself. I started a project. It was like, um, Oh, everything's falling. It's this one from Juniper Move Farms. It is the paints. This color is called Sagamore Beach and it has green and yellow in it. Um, and so I didn't want the green and yellow up against my face because it's just, again, it's not my favorite color against my face. So I went ahead and wound it up backwards so that it would start with this. Hey, I wanna show you where I found this project. I actually just purchased this book because I wanted this pattern. And this pattern, when I found it, I wanna say it was like $6. And I was like, well, I could, and I don't mind. I, I pay for patterns sometimes, but I saw that it was from this book. And so I purchased the book used for like $11 instead, which is great because this is where I saw this one. And I thought it was just gonna be the perfect use for this yarn. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Um, and so that's what I'm making with this. You can tell it's on a smaller scale. It's not on as bulky. There's is a five bulky, but it, it's, mine is just more bulky or less bulky, excuse me, than theirs. And so it'll be a little smaller and I hope it doesn't make me look too Oompa Loompa-y, but we'll see. I, uh, in the meantime, I'm just thrilled and can't wait to finish that project. Let me show you more. 
I love Malabrigo Silky Merino. It is one of my favorite yarns to use. Um, I have a couple of projects I've already made from it, one of which I couldn't find to show you, but um, this is a 430 Smoke Silky Merino. This yarn is 51% silk, 49% merino, and is just lovely. It's soft, it's silky, it's beautiful. It, it, see that gray? It's so pretty. I love this yarn. Um, I've made, I found one of my things I made with Silky Merino, and it's this one right here. This was a color um, made especially for the knit crate um, things that they had. I still have so many knit crate yarns from when that was out. Um, and this thing is so warm. I know you can see it's very thin. It has holes in it. But when I wear this, I am really warm. And I think it must be the silk in it, and maybe the mixture of silk and wool that makes it really keep you warm. And so I look forward to making a little, um, I'm thinking with this, I want a sort of silk tie, a long kind of tie that I might double up and tie kind of things. I'm just thinking something right around my neck with that. And so I got two of those to do that. Um, they were, they were a pretty good price. I want to say these were eight, eight something as well. No, it was less. It was less, but these are a, a pretty good price on there. Um, and that's just in general. Now, that's what I was happy with. Um, but this yarn I had heard about, I'd heard people talk about it. Um, the KFI collection Painted Sky. It is a pure superwash Australian virgin wool. It's also um, sheep friendly. It's 100% wool with 100 grams and 218 yards. Um, it is a four weight. It's a relatively thin four weight in my opinion. Um, but it is pretty. It certainly has the, you know, color changes. They're more subtle on a couple of them than, um, like I got one that's not a very subtle color change, but it's not soft. It feels like a standard wool. You know what I mean? It did pass my sensitivity test. I have wool sensitivities. I'll usually take some yarn, put it right here, let it sit there against my decollete skin, which is very sensitive skin. And for me, and um, this past the 15 minute test doesn't bother me at all. Um, it's pretty, but it's just not soft. Um, but I also bought enough to make myself a cardigan of this one. And this one's called Everest. Um, I made something years ago that was silver. Let me see. There it is. Made something years ago with silver. Um, this was an ice yarn that I really loved. That was just had a lovely sheen and I really liked it a lot. This is a... Um, cocoon shawl that I really like. It's very squishy. Um, and so, but I decided it was time. That's why I bought the black and bought that other gray. I've been feeling like I want something in, in the gray tones. And so I think I'm going to make a V-stitch cardigan. I actually did a swatch. Where's my, oh, there's my little swatch. Um, I was playing around with it, did a little swatch. You can see it has nice stitch definition. It's just, it's just not soft. In fact, it's almost a little rougher um, once it's worked up in here. Actually, the V-stitch is relatively soft. So what I'm going to make is a V-stitch cardigan. So I wanted to see what the V-stitch looked like on it. And I think it looks nice. I think it has good stitch definition and will be really pretty when I get it done. And it's nice and thin. So now again, I'm not affiliated with them. I just don't like wasting my money and I love it when I find great bargains. And I really want to pass that on to you. If there's something I find that I think is fantastic and a good deal, why not share that information and help you find good deals too? We both know how expensive it is to be a yarn lover and a crocheter and knitter. And so if you can find something beautiful for a little cheaper, why not, right? And so I, um, I hope that this helps you to find something that you love and that you can find it at a, at a reasonable price. And please, if you have any, any um, spaces that you find, that you find a website that's got good, good stuff, especially if you find some good Juniper Farms um, cotton stuff on sale, please put it in the comments so that I can know that there's something else good out there. I love finding bargains. <laughs> All right, so take care. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are creating, making, and living your best life. Take care. Bye.